I've never so, been to the South. What's it like down there? We pull out chairs, we open doors. Come on now. Uh, we say yes ma'am and no ma'am. No way. We do, from time to time. I have a very comfortable fold-out couch if you ever want to come over. That sounds so, so there you go. It does sound... I'm in. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage the president of Mathletes, Key Club treasurer, editor of the school paper, as well as her own self-published magazine, Women with a Y, valedictorian Brandy Clark. and go to a party? Woo! Hey, Judge. Hi, Mrs. Clark. Go to college. I have to register, contact my dorm mate, label my clothes. Oh my God, stop. I'm taking you to a real party. <laughs> Booyah, class of 93 fucktards. Woo! You guys suck. Dicks. I'm out of here. My dad is a judge. He'd be so disappointed. Wait, who is that? Rusty Waters. We can stay. Spinderella cut it up one time. So I went to a word of mouth screening for for this movie, and, and you know people try, they try to win tickets, and they're waiting outside hours to try to get in, and so they were packing the theater full of people, and this family walked in, like you know like a mother and a father uh -oh. and like two little kids, and they sat right in front of me, oh, and no. at one point I heard a child lean over and ask his mother, Mom, what's a rim job? So like you do, I you know I didn't really I didn't really know how, how to respond. It. To I was like, yeah, right? here's the thing. So I was wondering, you know, if that kid doesn't know about sex, he does now. So what was what is the movie that taught you about sex? The movie that taught me about sex. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that for a second. Ooh, mine was called Emmanuel in Bangkok. <laughs> how, how was that movie? Well, I had no sound because it was on eight millimeter uh, on a rejection. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, from the looks of it, I, I've learned a lot about the female anatomy and that um, in Bangkok. In Bangkok, and that nuns in Bangkok are, right. are different than the nuns that taught me. <laughs> Bangkok <laughs> dangerous. Um. Mm. I'm still messed up by that the story. Exorcist. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the Exorcist. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm honey, kidding. This is it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> or is it? Or is it? I, I was either going to go with The Exorcist or The Sound of Music, so, <laughs> you know. That's a mashup I want yeah, to I know, right? I'd, kill, I'd pay good money to see that. Um... Uh, Kentucky Fried Movie, I think it was like nice. I had like we had this little band of kids when I was in elementary school. Like this little redheaded, freckled kid named Jeremy would always come with like new like curse words his dad had used in the house. Everyone has one of those. But guys, then we yeah. define them. We would we didn't know what they meant. So bastard, oh what does bastard mean? We define it in whatever like context <laughs> we thought we could. Right. We had no idea. But then he stumbled upon his like. This his dad was a I guess was like a like a dirt bag. Like a dirt bag. <laughs> just, just a box of like bad movies, you know. But uh Jeremy one day just we we all sat down and watched a little VHS of like Yeah, that's a big Kentucky one. Fried movie. Like a Kentucky Fried movie. Like a Kentucky Fried movie. Catholic yeah. school girls in trouble. Catholic school girls in trouble. And then uh Big Jim Slade. Yeah. <laughs> Big if you Jim can't, Slade. If you can't please your woman, yeah. former Rams NFL linebacker, Big Jim Slade, he comes yeah, breaking Kansas through the wall, City, right? and he picks up the, for the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs yeah. picks up the woman, runs out. As when, yeah, that <laughs> one's the one. Yeah, where the woman goes, "Show me your nuts," and the guy goes, "Whoa, hey, how you doing?" Um, Sleeper. I got into a screening of Sleeper when I was way too young, and I was like, "Orgasmatron, I gotta get one of these." <laughs> I, I never the Woody seen Allen. That movie. It's a Woody Allen future movie where Woody oh, Allen gets frozen right, in the '70s right, and woken right. up, awakened. I don't know the correct thing. In tw it was something like ridiculous, like the distant future, 2004 or something, and uh, <laughs> and it's all about sex. Well, know. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, but I watched that on Laserdisc. I, I, I that wow. was like because I I couldn't. I was too young to have seen that in the theater. Right. But I just like to say Laserdisc. Laserdisc. Yeah. But uh, the a uh, movie that like blew my mind was right. uh, in Sixteen Candles. The Caroline, the hot cheerleader, right. showers. She showers. Right. And that was the first oh, yeah. nudity I saw on screen. No, Flashdance. That taught That's me about sex. 
Where did that chain come from? I don't know, but it's magic. It's, ma it's a magical chain. Yeah, and and that is when you lose your virginity, you pull a chain. You pull a chain? And water comes <laughs> across your chest. I and missed that go, one. And then you go and you weld. Oh, I can't oh. wait till that happens to me. <laughs> yeah. Still nothing? No, no, nothing. nothing. I don't know, I don't wanna make it. <laughs> Freshman year is like one big sexual pop quiz. You need to do your homework. Homework? Yeah. There's penises everywhere. There's penises everywhere? That's awesome. Come on. Let's do this. That's all about sex. This is everything I need to do before I leave for college. Hand job, blow job, rim job. Shocker. One who shocks. Hmm. Maybe it's some kind of surprise. Tea bagging. Must be British. I've decided to lose my virginity to Rusty Waters. Do you want fries with that? No. What's the plan? I'm engaging. Smart. Once I add sexually experienced to the package, he'll totally want me. You said yourself he's out of your league. Not once I learn how to pearl necklace. It actually sounds really elegant. It's not. You know, obviously, like that, that period of someone's life in which like they're having their, their sexual awakening is a big part of anyone's life. So I was wondering if all the great characters you guys have played, if you could see how any of your characters dealt with their sexual awakening, dealt with losing their virginity, dealt with everything that she deals with in this movie, who, which character would you be most interested in seeing how that person deals with it? Of all the characters that we've played? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Um, wow. That's very interesting. I'm trying to ask you something you haven't been asked Delve so far. Back. And you have. I appreciate it. Um, I like to see Herb Welch, the old guy, the old reporter. Yes. Because they were like, I, I think he was coming to sexual awakening before condoms or any sort of prophylactics <laughs> were made. So I like to see what he had to, how he dealt with it. I, I played a uh, like a 80s rock star mm -hmm. and a music and lyrics named Colin Thompson. I'd like to see what what crazy shit he got into. Wait, can I say that? You can say that. Right. We're in Texas. Fuck. Fuck. I've okay, said fuck good. like nine times. No, one's, no, one's no one's tell me. No one's tell me. I can't. Yeah, You're fine. I, you, you spent some time in Austin. Well, you, know you always right. hear like rock stars get into like some weird upside down shit. So I was like, oh yeah, what would Colin Thompson have gotten? Yeah. Especially in the '80s, right. when like he was in like a Wham style band. Uh, I don't well, know. Well, <laughs> well, might be not what you're well, expecting. No, yeah. Well. <laughs> 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 Um. <laughs> Was you stumped us? I'm sorry. Bro. I'm you sorry. stumped us, bro. Yeah, April. I mean, April Ludgate. I'd like to see what yes. her first sexual awakening experience was. She probably knew what she was doing. And oh, you think so? What yeah. do we need to do to uh, to 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 see that? What do we need to do to make that happen? Give me uh, fifty thousand dollars and some equipment. I do have. I've got twenty bucks in the foldout couch. That's done. Two Tammy Taylor. But she's so I, I, like it's weird. Like I can't. I have a hard time You're picturing like Tammy having Taylor sex? having sex. Not 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 having sex, but like I don't want to picture her in any sort of like going through that list. <laughs> I, I just okay. We won't I defile this, Tammy Taylor. You know what? She's so. What cool. character can we defile? Yeah. Agent. See. No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing Agent Coulson. Agent <laughs> Come on. Basically, way too top no, secret to talk this about. This is interesting because there's no character that I could say that I think you would be happy about. Raina James, my Nashville character. I don't know. You'd, you'd be yeah, into no, that? that works. That works. That works for you? Let's only do, do that character. Yeah. Okay. Is should it we, weird that- Should we do a mashup of Raina James and, and- Agent Coulson? And your Avengers character? <laughs> um, I'd like to mash them up. Is this, is it, are, is this shorts or a skirt? Neither, they're skorts. <laughs> that chick is crazy. Yeah! Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey! I like it. Kissed his nipple. Ow! But I don't know why. I get it. It's not having sex that's a big deal. It's this. Put the meat right in oh the taco. God. Get off me! Oh, yeah. Those feelings of emotional crap. Duh. I, I grew up in the latter part of the 90s, so I remember a lot of like that part of the 90s. So there was cool, like I did remember a lot of the stuff that this movie's kind of referencing, but there's some stuff that I wasn't entirely sure. But I was wondering, what, are, what is the aspect of the 90s that you wish could come back? Well, I, it's, it's different because of the, the internet and stuff now, but there was a time, I was saying this earlier, where, you know, like when Smells Like Teen Spirit, that video came out and Nirvana happened, like it really did, like you totally changed the way you dressed and it was like a giant, 
like MTV had that kind of power back then, right. but now it feels like, I don't know if that happens anymore. You know what I, I mean? I couldn't tell you the last time I watched a music video. To be, to be honest, yeah. it wasn't Lonely Island. Watching, but, but not, on YouTube. Now. But yeah, yeah, but yeah. not, but you know what I mean? Not even that, but just some sort of thing that kind of like was a cultural, that hits you like that, you know? It was like that's the bell what, like, cow of like the changing. Yeah, that's though. what, yeah, right. exactly. Call waiting. And that's yeah. a very archaic term. Because back then we only had right. one phone line. And uh, and then if someone else wanted to try and get a hold of you, it would like beep through. Right. Um, and I uh, I would ignore it because I I was talking to who I wanted to, and I have lots of siblings, and I didn't want to give up the phone. So I liked knowing that I wasn't letting my siblings communicate nice. with their friends. Nice. Yeah. And I miss the music. I, I think like there's a lot of '90s music, especially girl female music, that was really sincere and really like fun and mm -hmm. weird and TLC. kind of bad, but kind of Tori really good. Yeah, Amo, yeah nice. like all this. I miss R&B, man. Late yeah, 90s right. R&B was like yeah. some of the best R&B. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd like out. Sunday night, you know, you'd get on, I'd get on the phone with like whatever girl I was chatting with back in high school and it'd be like, The Quiet Storm. And I'd be listening <laughs> to like PM Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> PM Dawn. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think Casey and JoJo when I think of like late oh, yeah. R&B. That's I guess that's that's yeah. my that was my and, the, and that song crazy, you know that yeah. I'm going crazy. You know they never say a Z in that song. Listen to it. They sing the word crazy. I swear to God, I'm hmm. going crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> so what in here? Ow. <laughs> New suit. What this whole thing? Put your top back on. Oh my god! I have bigger boobs than you! What, Janet? Your kid's never seen tits before? I heard that you stopped by my house to apologize. Yeah, I tried to do the right thing. Hey, is Brandy here? You got a dick under that poncho? I ended up fucking your sister instead. Your dad walked in. Dad! Hey, I'm Willie. I'm Brandy's boss at the pool. She's a great girl, by the way. So is this one. You've raised two amazing. Amazing daughters. And my boner did not go away. 